Good afternoon, Gwen. Lovely to see Hi. you. Hi. Um, <laughs> I hope that you're having this lovely weather down there, probably better than up here. It's just reaching a point where I'm a bit, oh, it's a bit hot. <laughs> oh, no, it's absolutely lovely in Devon, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's you know, I've been out with mum this morning, but uh, yeah, it's been, it's been a beautiful day. Yeah, really nice. Yeah. Uh, and of course, we've just had uh, the solstice. So we've had all that wonderful energy. I know I was all woken up yesterday morning at uh, 0505. <laughs> <laughs> um, two years ago, it was 0404. And I was saying to my guides, well, I gather we've moved on then. <laughs> Uh, oh. And they were just uh, laughing with me about, yes, we're, we're building that conscious unity, that connection between people. Uh, it's going quite well, apparently, even if on the surface it doesn't look like it. So how was your solstice? Yes, it was really nice. I mean, what I like about being, um, you know, visiting mum down here in Devon is um, the night sky is so clear. There's hardly any air pollution at all. And... Um, um, the stars were so bright, both on Monday night and last night. It was really, really nice. And uh, um, the, uh, the sun came up very early this morning um, and, and shone through the bedroom. And uh, it, was, it was absolutely lovely. Wonderful energy down here, though, Annie. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was right by the city. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so you'll get the benefit of all of that uh, beautiful cleansing energy that water brings us. Fabulous. Yeah. Uh, I've been out amongst the trees in the garden, just um, hiding in the shade a little bit. Uh, <laughs> and yesterday in the garden, just magical energy uh, as we kind of uh, hit the, <clears throat> the half year point where we've got that uh, massive amount of light. And for me, light always represents cosmic light, the energy of love. Uh, and it just felt like it was circulating and, and swirling around beautiful so I always say you, you embrace the summer solstice um, and have fun have joy because the nights are now going to go we're going into darkness now you know, as yes you towards uh, you all you know Christmas it's uh, Yes, yeah. it's going to get darker, but yeah, uh, embrace it, the day. Yeah. It's that hope for the future it brings, doesn't it? That we will have to go through the darker times, but we will get through to the light yet again. That's what I love about sol summer solstice, particularly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we uh, we said we might do some cards. Uh, yeah. Take a look at um, what the cards can tell us about what's um, happening in the world at the moment or happening for human beings, I suppose. Um, and I've got my um, psychic tarot deck. Well, you can't see them. Psychic tarot deck. deck. Uh, it's one of my older ones. I've had it quite a while and I love the way John Holland's cards work for me. Um, what deck are you going to be using? Yeah, I'm going to use some oracle cards. And these are the uh, Priestess of Light. Um, um, only recently bought these, but um, I really do like them. And the artwork is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Really nice. Really mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. So, shall we do our thing? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just do our thing. Oh. Okay. I'm feeling like I need to. Um, Normally, I usually do three. I usually do past, present, and future. But I'm thinking mm. today, like uh, I might need to do four. Well, I was thinking of doing um, the, the five. If we're if looking at the world, we can see what's it, past influenced it and what's. Uh, so I, I might do my five spread. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's a new spread um, I've been using over the past couple of years. Mm. Um, okay, so I'm going to lay my five cards out. Um, mm. One, two, three, four. Oh, these are nice, lovely cards. Okay. Um, when I say nice cards, they, they've certainly got a message. <laughs> <laughs> um, so um, the, the first card is um, telepathy. Uh, telepathy. 
Um, can you see that? Okay. Yeah, I can. Yeah. And um, that's all about um, perception and um, communication, but it's more about thinking of how um, minds work together. Mm -hmm. um, not necessarily having to actually um, communicate, but just the knowing. Mm. Um, what I like about this card is um, she carries the wolf by the side of her, you know, these are the priestess cards. She carries the wolf by the side of her as her guide. Mm. And um, she has her strong um, staff in her hand. So what I'm getting from this with it being the very first card is that um, um, I think it's saying that people have, um, been thinking exactly the same thing at the same time, but not necessarily um, communicating their thoughts together as a group. Okay, um, but it's, it's still, but they're still wanting to hold their power. So therefore, they're not really wanting to communicate with others. They want to hold on to that thought. Um, it, it, it resonates really with the next card, which is um, about having idyllic times. So by keeping things to yourself, you keep things good for yourself, but you're not necessarily thinking of other people. And um, with this card, um, it's about searching for paradise. There's actually a butterfly in it as well. And, and for me, that's a sign of transformation. So maybe, maybe I feel this is more the moving on card. And it's about time we looked for, um, uh, well, I want to say the Garden of Eden, um, looking for peace and uh, tranquility here on earth, which we, we all love. But unfortunately, there is this card. Okay. So this is the loss and the lack card. And this is where fear comes in. It's the actual fear um, and feeling victimized, therefore, trying to protect your own rather than look at working um, together. Um, there is the owl on the card. It's very, very faint though. And, I've, and I do feel that's um, looking at, um, you know, I always think the wise old owl. So it's the wisdom that comes with this card. And maybe, you know, people really need to start thinking out of the box more, working together, um, forgetting the fear they have or the, um, the security they have around them um, that maybe is causing them to be squished and squashed and, and victimized. Um, I, yeah, I'm, certain, I'm certainly feeling um, the fear in that card. Um, now, my, my fourth card is, is, is really what um, the universe is probably telling us what to do. And um, uh, it's, it's, it's sacred purpose. It is about others thinking about their purpose. We've already said that we're looking for the Garden of Eden in this card, um, um, but we're fearing working with anybody else to achieve it. This one is saying, you know, go with purpose. You know, look at your ancestors. How did they achieve what they achieved? And um, you know, let's let's go and shine this eternal flame um, together. Um, <laughs> wonderful. The final card, which is obviously um, the destiny of the beginning, as I like to put it, the beginning card, and that is twin flames. My goodness me, and that is all about. I mean, it's beautiful. It's got a beautiful tiger on it. Look at that. Yes, and the twin yeah. flames. Um, and that is about um, finding your soul partner, your eternal connection. And that's like the, the ultimate, isn't it? You know, step out of the fear, work together. And, you know, this, you know, things will work so much easier. You know, straight away, I'm, I'm thinking of um, um, how Europe are trying to work with Ukraine at the moment um, and embracing them into... Um, you know, trying to you know, bring them into the EU to all work together. Um, but, you know, I, I'm sending this message out to, to Putin as well, in a way, because he needs to embrace, you know, it, it all. And, uh, you know, let's, um, you know, come away from the fear. Mm -hmm. you know? And I do think that's where 
he's lying at the moment. I didn't mean to be too political there, but it just came with that the sole partner card at the end. Mm -hmm. You know, we are trying to bring nations together for for a um, a sole purpose. Mm. Yes, I think, I think that's all I've got, Annie. Um, but, oh, I just you know I I love the way the cards just fell then. Yeah, and, and I think it um, be the final card. Yeah, yeah, and and for me, I, I was smiling because um, it, it kind of represents conscious unity. You know, yes. we have to get our minds and our emotions and our purpose together so yes. that we can move forward. And while you were um, speaking about your cards, I was also very aware of mine. <laughs> well, yes, yeah, because they work together, don't they? Yeah, I was, um, I felt as if I needed to have the number four because that's the angelic number. And to um, kind of bring into the conversation that we've got a lot of help, a lot of energy beings uh, around us at this time, trying to help us to make this, this difficult transition, as you say, out of the fear. My first one is, oh, you might not be able to see it, conflict and defeat. No, I can't see it. It's a bit, oh yeah, got it, yes. yes. Conflict and, de and defeat. Um, and, and of course, that's what we're right in the middle of, in, in a sense. Um, not only do we have conflict uh, between um, Russia and the Ukraine, we've got conflict okay. in the Middle East, we've got conflict, conflict, massive conflict in America. It may not be in the form of a war, but it's definitely wow. people divided, not people united. Um, yeah. We've got this huge authoritarian push can't even say the word and to me that's exactly what this card's kind of really really saying um it's got the number five vibration um you know this this chap is is kind of uh running away defeated um there's a light there's a light at the bottom of the card so there is some hope but his head's down, he's, he's ready to tumble down. Um, he, all the stairs he's climbed, he's, he's, he's back going down the stairs. And so for me, it's really resonating with the world at the moment. Yes. All the progress, all the steps we think we've made are being pushed back, we're being pushed back down those steps so all the progress in uh, for instance people's rights uh, the progress in uh, people being able to thrive not just survive um, yeah. the progress in equality of um, uh, the right to be here even is it, you know all of that uh, that's been kind of built up since the last Aquarian age looks like it's all disappearing rapidly yeah. and it, what we have to maybe take from this card is that we're being shown that some of those gains were only on the surface that, that now we have to repeat the steps again to get fundamental change that we've changed perhaps in the way we express ourselves, because you were talking about expression, but yes. we're still reacting to the fear. The gains are being cut away by people playing on fear. So a very powerful card. What's really interesting, it's followed by the next card in that particular um, suit, which is card number six, moving on. And this wow. is the man going into the light. Yes, this person saying, I'm not going to be in the dark anymore. I'm not going to be in despair and be defeated. I'm not going to fight within myself or with others. I'm actually going to move on. And what I feel is, is kind of really powerful about this is that sense of the light, you know, talking about the solstice, the sense of the light and the hope. And he's got a talisman in his hand and it's like, I'm holding on to this and I am going to move myself forward. I'm going to come out of this shadow place and there's lots of lovely green leaves sort of floating around him. And it's this sense of um, there are 
there are ways in which we can heal that conflict, heal that division, but they're not necessarily by who can carry on being the biggest bully or the baddest person. It's about but, communication. Isn't yeah, it? lovely, lovely card. And then it's followed up by one of my favourite cards. It's fertility. Right. And here is the divine feminine energy holding the world. Um, there's a little green orb. I always think of the world yeah. when I see this. Holding the world. Um, she's got the, the tree uh, growing out of her hair. She's got these beautiful golden cycles of energy. And for me, it's like the energy being concentrated into that beautiful green orb, it's sinking in. Um, and I love this one. Three is the number of creativity anyway. Uh, but I love this one because what's coming out of moving on is creativity, fertility in every possible way. Um, and of course, that means the rebirth. So well, somewhere, I have transformation, yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, so somewhere along the line, the earth, the humanity is going to get a reboot. We're going to get a rebirth. And we're going to solve things creatively. Now, that gives me, again, that word hope, a lot of hope to feel that whatever we're moving through, uh, we're still moving to the light. We're still moving to the love of one another and the understanding of one another. And what's really interesting is the last card, which is the card number seven, which in some um, <clears throat> traditions is lucky seven. Yeah, good fortune. Seven is a number of good fortune. And it's choose wisely. And here's oh, a little okay. chap sat in, on his dock, the water's all around him. So emotionally, uh, he's got lots of different directions. His hand is pointing in different ways and different solutions. And up above him are two beautiful birds. Uh, the sunlight's up at the top and these two beautiful birds are showing him the overview right yes so if we kind of zoom out and look at it from a planetary position which is what again conscious unity is about a global spiritual connection if we zoom out from the individual uh, we can see that that individual has lots of choices how to work creatively to make better world a better world and then we bring it right into that individual and encourage that individual to see that we can reject the fear we, we can start listening to our heart which is not about fear it's about that lovely twin flame unity <laughs> you know um, so Really interesting that the cards kind of work together, yours and mine. They did. I mean, and it's like, you know, the very first card I pulled out, the telepathy card, and it is about, you know, um, we, I think consciously we all want the same thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not communicating it yeah. um, in our actions. Yeah. We're all thinking the same. So that telepathic view, we're all yeah. thinking the same. We know where we want to go. Um, yeah. But, you know, unfortunately, people in power are not taking action. Yeah. Um, because they, they are living in the fear, Andy. They are. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So. Yeah. And I think this is where we, we're with that, that conflict and defeat card at the moment. Yes. Um, that because people are uh, nominating um, uh, those who govern us, who are also driven by fears and by um, uh, greed, greed and power the need for power mm -hmm. and the need yeah. for power is all about the fear you know it's if I have power I don't have to be fearful but there's never enough power and I'm always fearful and this I think is you know uh, if we think of some of the world leaders that's what it's about personal power to keep their fears at bay but there is mm -hmm. never enough personal power and um, and what they do is is divide us by playing to the fear uh, and not taking on board that we are we can do better when we're united um, and uh, it's really interesting the cards of both sets of cards come out with 
but it's getting better it will get better that's yes. a really nice uh, a positive message that transformation definitely is going to happen mm -hmm. yeah. yeah 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 and um that we can all do our part as the individual to choose wisely to choose whether we get into the fear or whether we we make choices based on that, that the purpose. Yeah. All have the same purpose. We can do yeah. that in ourselves. Yeah, yeah. Fight for internal flame. Yeah. yeah, yes, and and heal the differences, yeah. and uh, recognize everybody is equal and has equal rights. I know that's something that is under pressure desperately at the moment. But it's, um, yeah, I, I, this is why I love doing the cards because, you know, sometimes you, you get a bit, oh, what, what's that, how's it all gonna come out? But just grabbing a, a card, um, you know, I, I have a card a day and I know you often have a card a day uh, or three. <laughs> just, me, yeah. <laughs> just grabbing a card and letting those um, intuitive messages come in. And yeah. you don't have to kind of believe, you don't have to know how it works, you don't have to uh, do anything special, but just pulling a couple of cards and having some inspiration or some encouragement that can just make it um, keep the focus. I think that's why I like my cards. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I like doing the first thing in the morning because often, you know, when I've woken up, mm. I've got questions in my head from my dreams. Yeah, yeah. You know? So I think, right, get the cards out. That'll tell me, because I've got no idea what that dream means. I could interpret it any which way but loose, you know. But, <laughs> <That's that. laughs> But getting the cards out gives me a lot more focus on what that dream was about. It gives it more focus, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I um, definitely like the idea of cards around me, um, you know, yeah. every day. In fact, I'm, I'm just looking. I've got a scattering of cards across my desk at the minute. <laughs> I'm, down, I'm down my mum's for a week, but I brought my cards with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they go everywhere, don't they? And just... Yeah. Just, just to tune in um they're a fabulous uh way to let the intuition in yeah. and to open up to uh that maybe your loved ones or your guides or the angels want to send you messages and yeah. give you support and encourage you you know if your chin's dropping a bit they can just pull you back up um it's that little light of hope that's on that conflict and oh, that chart. Yeah. yeah definitely <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. just just a little a little reminder of um of, of it being you know them being there kind of thing. There's there's always that little bit of hope, and I always remember Pandora's box. All the ills of the world are left out, and what's left is that little spark, that little uh, being of hope. So yeah. yeah, I'm very encouraged by the cards today. I am that um, maybe we will get some sensible leadership or some sensible talking and maybe I, guess, I think that's what it is it's that i'm getting the uh, um the you know um more people thinking together yes yeah and of course that means we can do our part because we can speak it out yes instead of keeping it in our head and trying to telepath it to somebody we can exactly. you know, say what do you think and um we can be open to that they don't have to think the same way as us oh yeah and they may have different views on some things but where's the shared ground where's the commonality that's the point absolutely. we can make isn't it absolutely communication yeah. isn't just the spoken word is it no no exactly and if no. we can encourage people take that opportunity to speak and maybe find people who who on on world issues are ready to heal the divide are ready to step away from the fear maybe we can talk to those people and boost ourselves and keep putting that word out wider and wider as we're intending to do of course aren't we because this is going on youtube <laughs> so hopefully other people will hear our our um our um thoughts yes and words of wisdom that's come out from the cards yeah, yeah absolutely 
Oh, well, it's been lovely talking to you, Gwen. It has. Yeah. It's been great, Annie. And uh, I will um, I will see you soon because we're going to do yeah. some card things, aren't we? Yeah, we'll catch up soon and do it again, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. See you soon, Gwen. Bye. Bye.